Let's try it. Why not? We would like a second curse of tomb or the tomb. Now we are leveling up Renekton, if everything uh, goes smoothly. Renekton, come to the battlefield, the biggest lizard in Shurima. <laughs> Let's try to finish this game. Let's play like this. Now we can play our battle fury. See, if we have two more manas, we could play Curse of the Tomb. So, 11 damage will be 22 damage. <laughs> Greetings, Summoners! You are on the Autos of Runeterra's channel. I am Nota, and today we are going to play with the deck Make It Double with the Champions Senecton, Sejuan, and Action. Our strategy goes around the card Curse of the Tomb, which says Predict, give the try unit. I take double damage and if I would die, obliterate me instead. We are looking for getting a lot of damage because usually our units will have overwhelming uh, with Renekton, Ring Runner, or Ancient Eddie. And we are going to rise their attack to the limit with Battle Fury, Fury or even the Bird Armor equi Equipment, which, which gives plus 4 plus 4 for just 3 mana. It is amazing. So, on the early stage of the games, we are going to develop with Treasure Seeker and Action which gives us more flex flexibility with the Warlord's Palace. Then we are going to try we are going to try to give to the enemy's units vulnerable with Merciless Hunter or even with Exhaust. So Renekton can use it to challenge the unit and then receive more attack. And then for the late game, we're using the Battle Fury as we said and we have for protection because we are using Shurima, why not to use Right of Negation and a lot of uh, tr uh, battle tricks such as Troll Chant. This deck is very funny. I didn't know we can use more than one Curse of the Tomb of the same uh, on the same unit. So instead of just doubling the damage, we can make it four times more. Or if we have the three cards, maybe eight times the normal damage. This is uh, out of this world. And it's fun because usually the opponent is not waiting for a combo. They don't expect us to do something like that. And we make finish the game in just one turn uh, the famous FTK. Let's check out this deck. It's very fun. I hope you will like it. Let's see the gameplays. We are facing Twisted Fate and Seraphine. Maybe Seraphine is the strongest champion on this new patch. Uh, her and Vayne. For this, for our starter hand, probably we have to keep him some cheap units so we can do more damage. I would like to keep Merciless Hunter, but I think it's better to get Buried Armor. So we are going to replace everything. Uh, I think it's a good idea. Probably our strategy will be to finish the game in just one turn. Now we have Breathless Raider. This is nice, but uh, this is our, our, not our attack turn. Probably he will save mana to kill your units. And he's not going to play anything yet. It's hard for him to deal with Battle Fury, Fury, cause gives a lot of defense, defense, defense for our creatures. So uh, we may save mana for it on the turn five. Oh yet, the Ancient Yet is nice, cause maybe we can play it just uh, for zero cost. And it's hard for him to deal with it because of his 5 defense points. Not so usual to keep Boom Baboon on the F Seraphine's deck. But it makes sense, maybe he will discard some cards in order to level up uh, Twisted Fate very fast. May just pass. Um, well, this is a good draw because we can play Tre Treasure Seeker and Merciless Hunter in order to optimize our mana. 
Uh, if I was him, I would attack with boom ba boom. Because we are not going to block. It's very important the overwhelm keyword on this match because our opponents can have a lot of ways to stop our attack, but uh, it's hard for him to kill our new unit. I will play for, uh, first. We are going to play Treasure Seeker in order to defend from Piltover cast away. The problem is I don't like to give him the upcycle hake. We may play Merciless Hunter here. We have, we have to give some damage. Put some damage. On this turn. Probably we are going to attack like this. Now we can finish the game very fast. But uh, I will save it for later. Let's play like this. Now we can play our... Battle Fury. See, if we have two more manas, we could play Curse of the Tomb. So, 11 damage will be 22 damage <laughs> in the burst, burst speed Never play. Lost a fair game. We'll play mm, he plays the TF. Probably he's going, uh, he's going to try to kill our... Toughless Raider, but uh, we are going to play Ring Runner on the next turn. But we are not going to have mana to play in yet together. So we have to choose between open attack on our on the turn 1, 2, 3, 4 and turn 8. Ah, this is a good spell, Troll Chant, because now we can protect our Raider better. And see, this is one of the best. Uh, tri uh, battle tricks on the game. I will start with um, Incient Yeti. Or we may just pass. I think it's a good idea. I want to save mana. Um, five more mana. Happy to do whatever we still have five mana. You may play safe and use Ancient Yet, but I think your win condition may be Ring Runner. He may kill our units. Mm, just with 3 manas. Ah, maybe he's going to level up to TF. It's a Turbo TF deck. This may be a problem, for sure. Because he can stun our unit. Now he's going to level up TF. It's a Turbo TF deck. I didn't saw it coming. Looks like I'm on a hot now we have to take some cashons. He's going to you uh, to do the three stages of cards: the red one, the yellow one, and the blue one. With without mana, <laughs> this may be impressive if he can do that. We can choose between who is um, with just one mana. Now he took off our spell shield. This may be a problem. Probably he's going to attack here. We are going to block with Merciless Hunter because this unit is not going to be alive on the next turn. Or we can save it. I will save it. Because we can power up her attack. Let's exhaust TF so he cannot block. Now we just attack and hope for the best. I will put the the Flash Rider first. I don't wanna put uh, TF. Let's play like this. Let him choose who is going. No, let's put like this. I think it's cool. Because for, for sure he's going to block. Okay, three more mana. It do has ways to stop our attacks, but uh, 
we are going to try to overcome their spells. Okay. If we play like this, he's dying. All right. But at the same time, let's just check out how much damage we do in this way. We can get Battle Fury, Fury. But now, see, we double our damage. Uh, we can. It's not showing, I don't know why. Maybe this is a bug. And let's protect our Green Runner. And we did what we had to do. Let's see how much damage we can do on this turn. This is a fun deck. A Turbo TF deck with Seraphine may be a problem. But we could finish our game very fast with your overwhelming combo. Nice! Oh dear. Zed Vein. This is one of the strongest decks on the meta right now. It's always good to keep Ancient Yet on our starter hand because we can play it early for a low cost, a lower cost. Metal Fury, it's a very nice spell on this map, but uh, maybe it's a too slow spell for us. But we have our combo here. I'll try to combo. Why not? It's a risk, but we are willing to take it. Okay, it's our attack turn. We are going to play Tusk Speaker. And we have just to survive. 236, I think. Because we can play it, yeah, then we have enough mana. Oh, turn 7, actually. He got the Sandworm Amulet. We can attack. The problem is. He's going to use this for buffing Zed or Ven. But at the same time, he'll have to spend mana for this play. Now he should probably he's going to play Zed or Vayne. The problem with Vayne is that she has four Those defense points. No more than we can play Merciless Hunter. Next me turn he's he's going to Protect Vein, but we have Cursed Tomb. We, we are going to we are going to open attack because he can play Zed and we'll this may be a problem. I think it's alright to play like this. Okay. He may have another vein. This may be problematic for us. Mm, now he has Tumble. This gives... Mm, we are in a hard position. But let's play like this. We have to save mana. For sure. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Because now we can. Hmm. Let's see. We can take 8 damage. This deck is very fast. But it's in a hard, in a hard position. Because even if we have a lot of cheap units and ways to do damage, Zed is still a problem. We can play Battle Fury. Let's block like this and hope for him not having too many ways to put the Zed's attacks very high. We could play Ancient Yeti, but let's play Ring, Ring Runner. 
That's okay. If we play Ancient Yeti, we can use two Cursed Tomb. But uh, he may. He may return our unit to our hand. So let's play the Yeti. I'm not so sure, but uh, let's see if we play two Cursed Tombs. We instead of just doubling, we make four times the damage. Let's just attack. If I was in his position, I would not block. Okay, I don't know if if three mana he can stun us. Yeah, I think it's better to block in this way. Just for science, we are trying. We are going to check what happens. It doesn't matter which which card we are going to draw on the next turn. Eight damage. Let's see if we do it like this. Again, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's check out. If it made four times the damage, probably not. But I think it's still a valid test. Oh, it made four times the damage! Come on, this is amazing. We won against Zed and Vayne in a very stylish way. Nice. Evelyn Kaisa has been a long time. I don't see this uh, this pair. <laughs> Three sisters is a good treat, trick, battle trick because it's very flexible card. But uh, we may look for our combo or Renekton. Renekton it's a good champ for this match. We don't has, we don't uh, draw it. But still our hand it's nice. Fucking sands. We may open attack here. Now we have Renekton. This is cool. Because we do have Exhaust. So we can make Kai'Sa vulnerable. And then challenge her with Renekton. Making his attack bigger. And then we use Cursed Tomb. Two Renektons. It's interesting. To Renekton's because he transforms in Renekton's Helpless Predator, even to zero and vulnerable. Let's just pass. He probably is going to attack here. Now we are going to start our strategy with Renekton. Bird Armor would be nice, but uh, uh, earlier, but we can play it on the next turn. Let's see what he's going to play, Evelyn. Evelyn may be a problem. But I don't know if we can protect her. We can exhaust. So if we do like this... We can curse of the tomb here and level up Renekton. Let's try it. Why not? We would like a second curse of tomb or the tomb. Now we are leveling up Renekton if everything uh, goes smoothly. Renekton, come to the battlefield. The biggest lizard in Shurima. <laughs> Let's try to finish this game. And it's very important that we kill, it, uh, we kill Evelyn. Because it's one of her main win conditions. This is a main condition as well. But Evelyn can give a lot of bad time for us. We can start with Ancient Yeti. Then we may, may play Bird Armory. Exhaust. Ah, he's going to kill our Renekton. 
This is sad. But at the same time, this that's not a problem because we have a second Renekton in hand. <laughs> ah, we forgot to play Bird Armory. Ah, that's okay. Because now we are going to start with Renekton. Forever, we can play a second Yeti. So we are going to force him to block. Okay. Probably he's saving mana for... Not Vengeance. I don't know which spell he can use to kill our units. Probably he's going to kill Renekton. We may also attack with Treasure Seeker, because now we are going to the line of a win. <laughs> of him put everything he can on the table and hope for the best. Overwhelming and quick attack. This may be a problem. Let's attack like this, but Renekton in the end. The line. The best part that is that our units Keep it alive before the, the chains. Mm. Let's try Curse of the Tomb. But right now we are finishing the game. He's, he has to use the Solitude. Mm, quick send. That was a good play, for sure. Because now we lost our Overwhelming. Few words. And he's still alive. Probably he's going to play Kaisa. On this turn. And we have to survive. I think Skyse is coming. We may use Battle Fury to protect Renekton. I don't know what... This is a new card. Let's see. Play I Strike an enemy. We have Evolved. He's doing... 7 damage. Renekton may survive. Let's check out. Strikes an enemy. Let's do like this. And Ecton is alive. It's nice. We can attack here. It has quick attack, so we are just going to accept the damage. And now probably it's our last attack. Let's do like this. 16, 16 damage just with Renekton. GG, well played. Kaisa couldn't handle it. Nice. Pantheon Vane. This is like a combo deck, but uh, the problem is if Pantheon get a lot of keywords, it's very hard to stop him. Right of Negation on this map is good for rally cards. But uh, we will keep Treasure Seeker. I would like Action. And see it yet, it's always good on our starter hands. Let's see, Buried, Buried Armory would be nice. We didn't got it. We didn't get it. Let's start with Treasure Seeker. We are looking for... Give the, the more damage we can. Because after some time... Uh, his units will be so big that we we can't trespass through it. Maybe using Cursed Tomb. This is a uh, mm, important decision. We could block, but if you do this, he will use some spells, some trick battle tricks, in order to make Saga Seeker bigger, and we are going to lose our unit for nothing. So if we don't block this, we take le less damage, and still have mana for uh, an open attack. It's better this way. See? He had this chain vest. 
and because of that he just gave us one damage instead of two and we still keep our unit alive. We may save mana, because I don't wanna play Masterless Hunter right now. We could just pass. But I think it's a good time to attack. Because now we can do more damage. We have to use uh, the Curse of Tom very wisely. Maybe this is the time. Because probably he can't save the Saga Seeker now. And he can play Vayne as well. Let's see if we do like this. We will keep action. Probably not. I will... It's better to, uh, to get the ring runner. Nice. We didn't give him damage, but he spent mana and spells protecting units and that unit died. So it was a good trade. Maybe he will play Vayne right now. So you are going to use our, our Merciless Hunter to give vulnerable for her. Wonder, sh wonder ship ship her. Uh, this unit, <laughs> I'm not so sure how to pronounce it. It's good when he plays without an another unit, so he'll make less value. Uh, we can play Ancient Yeti, but if we play Dusk Speaker, we do damage on their turn, so we level up Sejuani faster. I will play like this, because I want him to use more battle tricks on a not so strong unit. That's okay. I am looking for doing more damage, so I'm not going to play Ancient, Ancient Yeti yet. We can play it for two on the next turn. I will just pass. We can just pass here. I don't want to lose any unit. It doesn't has quick attack. So we are going to save mana. I think it's okay. It's not going to level up on this turn. Just on the second on the next one. We, we do have Sejuani. This is nice. Because we can play more units or just Frostbite Pantheon. So he's not going to do a lot of damage on this turn. I think it's a good play. He can attack, but uh, it would be hard for him to do damage now. He can mobile, mobile, uh, he can rally on the next turn. But uh, probably we are going to play Ancient Yeti for one. It's so amazing. 5-5 uh, five, five overwhelm for one mana. He's trying to level up uh, Pantheon. And look for more battle tricks. We could play Merciless Hunter. Ah, he's going to use Dumble. So maybe we are going to open. Because he can play Dumble and level up uh, Pantheon. Time to dance. Let's just attack and see how he will handle it. He has a lot of mana. But uh, we do have Battle of Fury. We can save our Ring Runner for one mana. Probably he's going to save Pantheon. Together, stranger. Say your prayers. Now... Remember this. <laughs> he's doing the safer play. Very well.
It is probably going to use some battle trick now. No! So he has another Pantheon. If you do like this, we are almost finishing the game. Can't keep Sejuani alive this way. So he has Pantheon. This will be problematic. No, he doesn't have Pantheon. So I. Ah, he still has mana. So we can play Ancient Yeti. Hmm. Maybe we play it wrong. We should play our created card with the 5 2. But it's okay.